All right, we have Fun Buggy, episode six. All right, I know uh, after the little test drive around the yard, I kind of left everybody hanging there. Uh, all in all, it was uh, it was cool. It was nice to see it actually uh, have a heartbeat and do something. Uh, it worked. The steering uh, the steering was a little bit too too much for the servo to handle on the uh, the leverage there. So I had to back that down uh, instead of this hole. I had cut it, made another hole, and that increased the leverage of that servo. But at the same time, it also decreased the turning radius, which uh, eh, in a big open area, it wouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, I'd really like to have a little bit more maneuverability uh, should I need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to get some some sprockets to put on the servo instead. I'm going to remount everything so that the angle matches uh, the steering shaft. So that I'll have a, uh, I'll put a 30 tooth uh, sprocket up here and looking at a 12 tooth down here. And that should give me, uh, uh, just in my head, like a two and a half to one ratio uh, over, right now it's like 1.8 uh, my math isn't that good. That might be not correct, but that's, uh, the idea basically is that I'm going to take the potentiometer out of the servo and I'm going to move it to the stop of the steering shaft here so that the pot, the potentiometer is looking at the steering shaft movement. And so as it hits the end stop of the wheels, the servo will stop spinning. So this is going to be a free spinning. It's going to continually spin until the potentiometer tells it that it's reached an end point. So the chain and sprocket deal will uh, have, it'll be slower, but it should uh, have, in, have no problem turning the tires while it's on the ground under weight. So it should be able to move the tires back and forth no problem. And that's kind of necessary. I didn't think it was going to be a big deal until I drove it around and it was just way, way too much. The steering, uh, the servo was locking up or it was, it was binding, it was stalling and, uh, it wouldn't go the other direction until it reached the center point. So I had to, uh, I had to move, I had to put it in gear and I had to move, you know, forward or backwards until the, until the tires would center and then the steering would, would resume working again. That's not, uh, that's not what I want. So you got to revisit that. Um, the muffler's working good, the chain, the final drive works great, the shifter works great, uh, the brakes were kind of anemic, so I put a, I put a longer, uh, a longer arm for more leverage, and I doubled up on the spring, uh, so now I can, uh, I can get out there and we'll actually lock the back tires up, so, uh, now we have brakes that are a little bit more uh, useful. Like I said, the shifter works great. I didn't, uh, I didn't have any problem at all. That was perfect. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, we have a horn. And uh, I'll wait until I can uh, demonstrate before I uh, elaborate on what that is. But uh, we have some LEDs, which I can demonstrate. That's gonna look really cool when I have the smoke system going because we have the smoke pump down there now and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll turn everything on. The radio is already on and we have fun buggy and I've remade my uh, box. It's still a rat's nest in there and I'm really not too worried about it. It's uh, This isn't an airplane. It's staying on the ground and there's a uh, it's all, let's just say it all works. It's not going to be a problem. I'm not going to get too crazy on trying to uh, make this pretty. This is about having fun. All right, so we do have a satellite receiver on there too, uh, just for a little bit of extra redundancy. And like I said, we're powering the receiver with uh, a LIFE 6.6 volt. And then the rest of it is off the uh, the main battery, which is a 12 volt, 10 amp hour AGM, like your uh, battery backup system batteries. So 
we have receiver power and then we'll turn the main power and now we'll have servo movements over here you can see the brake and I put some new brake pads on there too so we have some good brake pads all right and again I'll demonstrate the shifter do some uh, we'll do some lights here and I got this on a on a switch cool now I can take and I can flip this switch here and that'll change the, the color and the pattern so whatever I'm feeling like that day I can shift things around and uh, I'm going to have those aimed right at the back of the muffler. That way when the smoke comes on, it should, uh, it should light the smoke up. And uh, that should be pretty cool. So. And uh, like I said, the horn isn't hooked up yet. I don't want to be uh, making all that noise. It's really, really loud. Uh, so I just, have the, I just have the power wire draped over the back there. But that thing draws so much current. Uh, I had to have the optical switch hooked up to a relay and then draw that power directly from uh, where the battery hooks up. So this, uh, this wire here is gonna power the, uh, the air horn. But you'll hear the relay click. That is the horn being energized so I push that button and there's 12 volts going to that, that power wire back there all right and uh, once again we'll go ahead and so we have the the uh, ignition kill and we have the throttle kill and then we have the starter well, actually the starter disable is over here too so when it's down I have no nothing starts so now we have starter and uh, ignition enabled and uh, we'll put it on high idle oh yeah another thing is uh, I did wire up the four-wheel drive. So we have four-wheel drive now. Let me put it in gear here. It's on jack stands. And uh, so now the front wheels will work because we have. There's uh, there's some progress for you guys for the uh, the two or three fun buggy fans that I have out there, and uh, we're getting this, this. Oh yeah, yeah, one more thing. I know I told you the smoke pump was hooked up, but I mean it's not plumbed yet. But we have power. All we do now is run the plumbing from there to. That tank I have, I'm gonna mount that tank somewhere, and then I'll run run that up to uh, to that tubing. It'll squirt oil or diesel into uh, that, out the mufflers, and into the lights. So, all right, guys. There's fun buggy, fun buggy, fun buggy. Too much fun. And we'll catch you next time. Like and subscribe.
there'll be more uh, more soon.